Welcome to Wagner Events face painting tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a dragon design for boys or girls. Starting out with fab metallic, I think it's sea foam, it's like a metallic blue, and using a large filbert, brush on the shape of the wing. You can use any type of shape you like, whether it be uh, similar to a butterfly, they usually have a more of an arching shape. Brush that in and fill it in completely. You could also use a split cake for this. After you do the top wing, come on down and do the bottom wing, making it fairly small and off to the side. <laughs> Using a lime green split, start with the darkest color on the bottom and create the shape of the dragon. Dragons are in almost any shape, so you can be really flexible in this. And then come up and do the head the head is a small circle and then a larger circle, much like a horse. And then bring some of the green into the shape of the wing to help make it cohesive. Using a number three round, start with wolf black and outline the shape of the wings. Bring the points down as in veins to the center of the body. I did these lines a little too heavy and would have preferred to do the stencil at this point. Instead, I did it after the lines and then had to go back in and do them again. So if you're going to do any stencil work, now would be the time. Perhaps outline the design and then come back in. And now I'm going to use the same green color and outline the dragon so that all of that detail work is there. The large brush doesn't allow for very much detail. So just coming in and creating the legs. The back leg is a large circle with a connected uh, down to the ankle and the knee. And the front leg is very similar. If you look at drawing books, there's lots of books about drawing fantasy dragons and simple designs for children out there. Also coloring books can be great inspiration. I usually get drawing books that lay it out, usually for teenage to young children. We're going to do spikes all along the back of the dragon, everywhere except for the wing is. And now we're going to come in with that black and the number three round and add it there. For the lines underneath the dragon's belly and around its back, you want to do really thin, delicate line work. Around the foot, I do the end of the toe, but not the spike. And then you're going to do loops for the base of the stomach of the dragon. And then I put the arm in right here. You could even have it grabbing the child's nose if you wanted to. The eye is a small oval with a point at the end, very similar to a human eye. And the nostril is a vertical oval. And the difference between a dragon and many other animals is it has a line between the eye and the nostril. And that's a, a ridge that goes straight down the nose of the dragon. Using wolf white and a number two round, come in and add highlights all over the dragon. I like to add highlights along the stomach as well as the back. These are small delicate lines that don't connect and using a flicking motion all around them. If you have a wiggly kid, you might need to do the death grip like this. I hold them against my shoulder and my arm and paint from the side. It makes it quite easier. Using the wolf white, you're going to add s fingernails to the bottom of their feet. And those are very sharp teardrops, the point coming down and the teardrop coming up into the leg. And here I am with the stencil. I'm using uh, star blends, white and star blends, black, and a couple of different textures to add some diversity in the design. And now using wolf black, I'm doing the outlines and then I'm using a soft makeup brush to blend them out and this creates the shadow and adds a lot of depth into the design. I just brush on the wet first and then come in with a dry brush and brush it down. And then coming back in with the highlights as I covered them up with the stencil and then I'm also doing a lot of dots. These dots are easiest when you have highly activated paint that's almost liquid form but not dripping. And then be really careful, you only want a small dot on the eye, and you don't want to do too much around the face in dark white as it'll cover up the black. So you want these all to be very delicate. This is a number two. You could use a number one, although you could, with a good brush and a steady hand, use a number four as well. 
just adding all the little details, extra dots and extra speckles, and then the smoke for the dragon. It's a white and black mixed, and then I take it off with my finger. And now just adding some glitter over the top. I use a white glitter. I think it's fairy dust. It's very pretty and very simple. I don't do that for all boys, but I think it really adds to the dragon. I call it scales. And then a couple of extra little dots as the glitter, glitter covered that up a little bit. I did it a little too heavily. And then there's the death grip to stop him from wiggling. His patience is wearing thin. Outlining the claws. And that's all of it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. We update regularly and check us out on Facebook and the website. Thanks so much and have a great day. Rawr. Do you like it? Am I right. done? Hang on, we gotta take a few pictures. Sit still. Put it down so I can look at you. Put it down or we'll never be done. Look right here. Look right here. Look up. Nice. Fancy. Let me see your mean eyes.